To try and keep a lid on spending, governments often turn to private firms to provide some public services. There's one firm in Britain that's got a lucrative finger in many pies, from running hospital pathology labs to immigrant detention centers. As Tessa Sillier now reports, it's making the headlines for all the wrong reasons. From bicycles for rent to health services, prisons, speed cameras, ambulances, and even the government's work program for the jobless, chances are they're operated by global private companies that you may have never even heard of. Have you ever heard of the company Serco? No. Serco? No. What about uh, Interserve? No. Have you ever heard of uh, the Compass Group? The Compass Group? No, never mind. Have you ever heard of Serco? Yeah, Serco line, what, the railway? On, underground, yeah? Now, one of the biggest companies providing public services, uh, thanks to outsourced government contracts, is a company called Serco, operating various services for the Transport for London, electronic tagging of prisoners for the Ministry of Justice, and some out-of-hours general practice services for the National Health Service. Now, these are just a handful of areas that the company operates in. It's been called and reports as the biggest company no one's ever heard of, and the company is currently making headlines as it's being investigated for fraud, mismanagement, and even submitting falsified data to various government departments. It's also having to deal with a long list of complaints on the quality of the service it provides. Now, Serco, for its part, has said that the situation is being dealt with accordingly, but it has not assuaged concerns that ultimately it is the British public that is bearing the brunt of all these blunders. Are the companies that are taking over a large number of public services, are they competent? Do they have the expertise? Um, can, can they really effectively manage the service? They want to be in a monopoly position where they can dominate the market. Uh, so I think we, we need to really debunk the myth of, of competition. The UK government is set to continue on its massive outsourcing drive. The NHS or the Health Service, for instance, is embarking on its single biggest contract to date, inviting bids valued between 700 million and 1.1 billion pounds. And a company like Serco could very well end up with another lucrative contract. The Institute for Government estimates that one in every three pounds that the government spends on public services ends up in the hands of private or voluntary sector organizations. One of the reasons that these public service markets often go wrong is because the pace and scale of reform is causing significant problems. In the rush to develop public service markets, avoidable errors have often been made in design and oversight. And what we would urge the government is to slow down learn quickly from mistakes and correct them out of the system before another mistake grabs the headline. But there doesn't seem to be any slowing down on the part of the government. And for those in the private sector, it's simply business as usual. Tessa Arcelia, RT, London.